Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 7th, 2020. So yesterday we saw some great buying coming in um, as we continue to push these markets up and um, S&P 500 is very, very close to reaching some new record highs. As a matter of fact, we're only about 1.2, 1 1.3 percent away from new record highs. But boy, we have a lot to digest this morning. So how about we settle in? Let's take a look at the technicals, let's take a look at the news events, and let's see how we might want to approach the market for today in the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got a real interesting situation um, that we face. First off, we had uh, Congress adjourn and head away, go home for a week, without a deal of course both parties came out and spun it up um, blaming each other for the fact that there was not a deal but um, the fact remains um, we still have no stimulus bill and obviously that is highly anticipated by the market with the current valuations that we see so how the market will react to that i'm not exactly sure um it's obvious that Congress will probably do something and the president has threatened an executive order to get most of it done without Congress if they don't get their act together. So I think the, the market's going to continue to expect, uh, you know, some big money coming their way. But we'll have to wait and see. And now we're in kind of a holding pattern as we wait for that. We also have the president signing an executive order last night that bans transactions with WeChat and TikTok in 45 days. Now, what that means um, essentially is that tensions are growing between the US and China. Um, there's been no uh, word from China about possible retaliation. But that leaves us with just that additional uncertainty as we kind of head into the weekend. And then this morning, before the market opens, um, you're going to be watching this video about the time the news comes out. We're going to get the monthly jobless or job numbers uh, in the employment situation number at 8.30 a.m. Eastern this morning, an hour before the market opens. And estimates are all over the place. Jefferies has come out with an estimate saying that they expect um, the number to come in zero or even a negative number on jobs growth, pointing to all of the stresses in state jobs and things like that, state government jobs um, and folks being laid off. And um, we have another estimate, I believe it's from Morgan Stanley, suggesting that we're gonna have um, a job creation of 3 million. So we are all over the map here this morning, which really essentially means nobody knows what's gonna happen. And um, the consensus estimate is about 1.4. So we can expect considerable fireworks when this number comes out. If we happen to do better than expected, um, watch those bulls. We're going to party hard probably this morning and likely set some new record highs um, in the SPY. If that doesn't occur, if that number comes in weak, we could easily see the market tanking before the open, those futures driving down. If we miss on those numbers, if they come in less than expected or even down there where Jeffrey suggests they might, we could see this market sell off pretty heavily heading into the weekend with this uncertainty that we have. So could be some interesting fireworks this morning, which really means anything is possible at the open today. We're going to have to stay focused and very flexible because anything is possible. But let's take a quick look at the current technicals in the charts and what what can we glean from that? Well, first off, we can see that the Dow is definitely trending to the upside. We have support levels below. We do have some resistance above that we're still challenged with here in the diamonds. And of course, overall, we still have this 
little bit of support that we just created last couple of days, uh, breaking through this overall downtrend in the chart. So any, any rest or pullback, if we do get some shocks in the market, we could see that pulling back maybe to test these levels of support in here for the weekend. Let's watch that carefully. We could also see us really power higher um, overall. As a matter of fact, um, there would be um, no doubt in my mind if we had a really good number in the market, we could power all the way up into this level here in the Dow. So watch that carefully. Anything is possible at the open today. Let's take a look at the SPY now. S oh, by the way, let's look at those tech, um, moving averages here really quick. Um, our 50-day moving average has officially crossed up over the 200-day moving average, providing that additional bullishness. And if you notice here, we have an accumulation of moving averages. We have the 200, the 50, the the 20, the 500 day, the 34 EMA, all right in this area, providing a little bit of um, support in that chart. So if we were to get a really bad number and start breaking through support levels in here, we do have a fairly significant average support, moving average support right in that area. So although that would be pretty painful in the pullback, um, certainly, um, some hope in there that we wouldn't just completely collapse. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also very, very bullish. Um, we are so close to reaching out to these highs. If there's any way possible, um, institutions are going to want that new high. They want those numbers. Um, it helps draw more money to the market. So if they can get anything positive in that number today, expect a push up here. And I would, if we get a positive number at all, I would expect new record highs to um, likely occur in the SPY before we head into the weekend. So watch that closely. QQQ also just extremely strong, um, topping the NASDAQ um, over 11,000 for the first time in history yesterday, setting another new record. We just continue to break record after record um, all year here in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ with those big techs pushing up. But now we've got the pressures with this thing with China and there's all of that conversation about Chinese companies listed in, in the U.S. will have to um, submit to the same kind of scrutiny, accounting scrutiny, as U.S. companies. And there's all these issues starting to brew. So going to have to be pretty flexible and on our toes here because anything is possible as we continue to stretch this, this rally in a market that is obviously got some major issues on employment to deal with. So watch that number closely today, anything is possible. And then IWM, IWM had a really good day yesterday, rallying up, a little bit of bouncing around um, in that number, but we continued to follow through and that's been a good sign, breaking through that 500 day moving average, pushing on up. And one of the things nice about this is we saw a little bit of levity um, yesterday in um, that oil sector, a little bit in the financial sector, helping to lift that up. But of course, everything could change this morning. So watch that pretty carefully if that begins to sell off. Watch these levels of support here around these moving averages and price support levels in the chart. Um, for those possible targets if we do begin to sell off. If we uh, power on higher, uh, once again, I'm gonna point out a level here that's significantly higher. If we power up and see some really good numbers in that jobs number, um, look for that possible test even all the way up here. Maybe right in here would be the first target I would be working for um, in that chart, but watch those closely. We could certainly see them attacked if those uh, jobs numbers happen to come in better than expected. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. You know, this VIX continues to be perplexing as we continue to hit new highs. We just can't seem to break down here in the VIX. And as you can see here, um, we have some support right in here off of this gap up. 
in the VIX price support. And we tried yesterday to break that down and just couldn't get it done. Uh, we ended up rallying back at the end of the day. But we still have this downtrend in play here on that chart. And certainly, um, there is that possibility if our jobs number is good we could drop on through here and pull back and test um, this next level of support in the chart but obviously there is a just an underlying concern um, you know normally when we're reaching new market highs and we're setting new record highs we normally are going to see the VIX down in here at the 10 11 and 12 handles not up here in the 20 handles it's an odd situation that we could really be talking about complacency in the market with the vix so elevated so we're just really going to have to stay on our toes this jobs number could definitely change this we could finally drop down into support or we could really see that fear come in and break uh, that downtrend to the upside so um, watch that carefully. It could be a wild morning today in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. This is one concerning factor for the market right now in pushing a lot higher, and that is that we're up here in the bearish reversal zone. And you know, guys, I've shown this m multiple times, but this thing is about as consistent as um, anything that you're ever going to find for an indicator. It doesn't give you daily direction but what it does tell us is that when we are up here in these um, upper areas we tend to find profit taking we tend to see some selling now it doesn't necessarily mean collapse but we do see some selling and so if we zoom this up we are up here in this bearish reversal zone we want to recognize that that doesn't mean that we can't find the bullish action in news events and things to push us higher but just notice that we don't have have a whole lot of upside room here um, in this indicator to continue to power higher so don't be surprised if we do see some profit taking come in at any time it, it may not happen today it could be next week but we'll want to be watching for that and then let's take a look at that t2101 this is kind of an interesting situation here with t2101 finally showing just a little tiny bit of improvement yesterday with that buying going on but definitely not that big warm and fuzzy here in that uh, chart now being down in here if we do happen to get some selling coming into play i think that's where we might actually see the absolute breadth in the in index starting to rise because i think there are a lot of hungry bears out there and if they get a chance to jump on the short side they could really push that hard and we could see that market breadth um, increase pretty rapidly so watch that closely just in case that does occur let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and obviously we've been talking about um, this since the beginning of this video this morning uh, that unemployment um, situation number what's interesting about this it's it's as if the institutions those ones that make the make these numbers um, occur and try to evaluate them ahead of time it's like they're shooting in the dark the the estimates are sprayed all over the place we have no real good focus as to where that number might come in which means they're kind of guessing like everyone else that the consensus estimate in a very wide range of potential numbers is about um, 1.4 million if we come in there we'll probably be okay but just um, just keep a close eye on that number if it happens to be sharply above or sharply below there's going to be some fireworks on the market for sure before um, it opens that um, uh, futures market will be pretty active um, if we strongly beat or strongly miss on um, that estimate let's um, take a look at our earnings calendar our earnings calendar is a little bit lighter today we only have about um, 83 companies reporting earnings today a lot of those are very small cap companies not particularly whoops not particularly notable and um, but we do have a few notables that um, will want to pay attention to um, 
we've got Kimco um, Realty, um, a real estate investment trust. That might be um, somewhat notable um, on the day. We'll want to pay attention to that. We've got um, MGA as a possible notable today. Again, not exactly one of those that we would expect to be um, uh, market moving, um, I should say, um, in that. So we'll want to watch that today. VTR um, will be reporting today. And I've got VIRT on the list as possible notables today. But just keep in mind, you can see this one's capping up. Um, had a good report. So watch those today. I don't know that we'll have a big focus on these events today because everyone's going to be focused on that jobs number and whether or not it will support the current prices in the market. So let's take a look, everyone, at some stocks that could be setting up. But if you don't mind, before we do that, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully, um, you know, in seeing these videos, you notice that I avoid all of the hype and prediction that you might see in other places. Um, what I want to do is I want to take a, a look at the technicals, take a look at the price action and decide how I want to approach the market for the day. And I can tell you in my 15 plus years now of full-time trading, this kind of work has helped me a lot. And if you find this to be helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and also click that bell, um, excuse me, um, leave a brief comment, then that helps us continue to grow this channel. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. And I honestly am truly humbled by some of the wonderful comments you, you folks leave. So thank you very, very much. And I credit you guys um, for the growth of this channel. And um, I truly, truly feel that way. Um, couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. Now let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And in these stocks, we have to be a little bit careful with this jobs number this morning. So kind of keep in mind that although I'm going to point out some stocks, boy, anything is really possible by the time we reach the open today. And these um, are no recommendation to buy or sell any security. Just make sure that you do your own due diligence diligence for these trades. Um, first one I'm going to bring up is MCD. You guys know that I've talked about this one before a couple of times and MCD ended up triggering my alert yesterday um, in that chart and I actually picked this up long. Have a nice profit already in this trade. Obviously there's a lot at stake on this jobless number today but we'll want to watch this carefully. If McDonald's can push through this level of resistance here, break on out of this big wedge, there is certainly upside opportunity in MCD. So keep a close eye on that. Have a nice profit in this right now. So just a word of warning, I may have a little bit of a bias on this trade already because it's looking pretty good at the moment. So keep that in mind as you plan ahead. Take a look at Shopify. Shopify continues to set up. Nice little consolidating move holding in this upside trend. No, it would be no surprise to me to see this continue to slide over here um, toward that trend before it goes, but we certainly want to watch this one carefully. Blue sky above, no resistance above, so watch that. Um, no reason to believe, at least at this point in this price action, anything there other than bullishness, so watch that close. Keep an eye on FDX. FDX is also in that nice setup area in the chart. You can see I've got a price alert on that pink line there. Watching this chart, we have broken the overall downtrend in FDX, holding up quite nicely here. And I would be looking for that next bullish move to the upside if uh, perhaps today, if we get a good jobs number that could propel that on higher. So watch carefully in that. Also, UPS has been setting up in a great pattern here. Very, very strong 
um, in its move after earnings. Notice that no one wants to sell this stock. So um, watch for that next big push to the upside here if we get that good number. Um, and by the way, if this rests or pulls back, let's notice the trend here. We have a trend that is obviously quite a ways away. So we could have that possibility that this kind of rests and, and dances around in here before we move on up. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, Kimberly Clark has been extremely strong here recently, breaking through into all time highs in this chart. Kimberly Clark showing lots and lots of strength. Any kind of rest or pullback in here provides that next opportunity for an upside move. Keep a close eye on that. I, of course, have to continue to bring up gold and silver. Gold and silver, um, extremely strong. And as we continue to print money, um, I expect this to stay strong. However, I do expect, because we're a virtually parabolic on this move right now, um, in the chart, I do expect a rest or pullback in this to occur at any time. I made really good money on this trade, took the profits, and now I'm waiting for that rest or pullback to occur. And that could be happening today. Gold futures are pointing to um, a loss of about $4 an ounce this morning. So a little bit of pullback coming. Let's watch this in here if this rest or pulls back for that next opportunity to the upside and the same with silver um, silver uh, extraordinarily strong um, going parabolic here and we'll want to watch that carefully as we continue um, this process and that any rest or pullback could set up that next opportunity in the trade so watch that close other stocks there's lots of stocks showing strength um, best buy after breaking through that alert looking good continue to continuing to move on up looking very very good in the chart restoration hardware breaking through that resistance pushing on up lows lows continues to set up here and could soon start moving higher here in the chart home depot um, had a good day yesterday moving over consolidating this breakout over to trend showing bullishness that possibility that it could move higher um, Roku Roku had kind of a rough day yesterday pulling back pretty strongly but notice that we haven't really done anything bad here yet we're breaking down to test this support let's watch that carefully in here see if we hold that support that possibility that it still could rise and remember stocks like this doing very well um, yeah, yeah with so much COVID issues going on. So I'm out of time, guys. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe, everyone. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Y'all take care. Have a great day of trading. I wish you all great profits. Talk to you soon.